that way indeed. The way they were ignoring- Oh, let's just ignore this obvious path that we can see. And more dragon newts over here. More stupid cardinal soldiers who are gonna yell that I'm their prey. And I don't feel like- actually do not feel like going to go get that uh, harvesting spot, so... Can sneak around and go get this money spot. Since it's on the way to a treasure chest. Which I Ooh, Star Ruby! Star Ruby! Another really rare item that they have on Card Yeah, Cardion. I'm thinking Cardion because of all the stupid Cardion enemies here. And the stupid opening for this chest is on the other side. In the field. Yeah. Um Star Ruby is another rare item you can obtain here on Nox. You can also get it, I believe, in the Wandering Dungeon. Which is one of the Wandering Dungeons. Yeah. Which is so far away still. Yeah. So, so far away. Yay, Aramat's leveling up. So happy he's leveling up. I just want out of this place. Like, I have so much hate for Nox Obscurus. Really? Fine, fine. We are going to charge more of our rings. Um, full... wait. Five. Now we'll charge it. And... Charge that one. Well, we have free stones laying around here. And more disintegration stones. Yay! So we should be able to sneak back around. Avoid that dragon, Newt. Shut up, I'm not your prey. And avoid one of those little guys. Avoid the person who's saying I'm a guy who's saying I'm an intruder. And sneak back here. And I notice there is a chest back here that's covered in holy light. Yeah, we can't open it yet. And yes, Dragon Scale, we cannot open that one yet, is Holy Light Chest, which we will get the ring soon enough. Oh, Wait a second. Is it this? Yeah, it's from his ship. It must have happened when he got rid of that dragon. A section of the ship must have broken off and fallen to the surface. It would seem that Mr. Crow has cleared a path for us, so we can proceed. He has come to our aid, not once, but twice. He always was a meddlesome do-gooder. I believe the odor that Miss Miracle perceived earlier must be issuing from the space ahead of us. to find such a faint scent in a place with so much wind. You're amazing, Mary. <laughs> My nose is well trained. Oh dear, I suppose I'll never be able to escape you, will I? <laughs> Thank you, Miracle. Now we can walk the path Crow left for us. is where our travels come to an end. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'd just say it's a turning point. I'm going to find happiness. I've no intention of letting my travels end in a place like this. Yeah. This is where it begins. Without being bewitched by false evolution. Without warping anyone's history. We're all going to travel forward, one step at a time, into a proper and rightful universe. Yes. Yes, you're right. It's only just begun. After all, I've already decided. I want to walk together with you, Edge, in a universe where everyone can be happy. Um, it's like, pfft, I don't want the sentimental crap. So anyways, we actually want to backtrack 
they kind of throw you off here, but you want to go backtrack, actually. And see this little arrow right by the thing on Crow's ship? You will want to examine it. Crow must have come through such an awful battle. Look at how banged up it is. He really thought he was hot stuff right to the very end. Edge. No matter what obstacles Crow ran into, he'd always dance right through them with a smile on his face. He was unkillable, immortal, why here, at the very end, that, that idiot! Such a stupid, stupid idiot! Erg! Edge. We can't stop here. He carved out this path for us, our final path. Yeah. Final funeral bouquet, right here. Please, Crow, watch over us. Crow, I'll never be able to thank you enough for what you've done, but I can't do it yet. Don't want to say thanks yet. First, I'm going to put an end to this for you, for all of us. Then, I'll be able to thank you. So, Crow, Edge, yeah, let's do this. That is the final funeral bouquet in the game. And technically, it's the final PA in the game, because it's on the final... Like, this is basically the... I don't know how to describe it. Like, um, it's hard to... It's hard to say, like, do a good comparison of what this is. Uh, I guess it is a lot like Star Ocean 3's Final Dungeon, but that doesn't help me in the comparison. I guess it's kind of like the Memoria of Star Ocean 4. Like, it's still fairly long, but it's not so stupidly long that you're gonna want to shoot yourself, but it still feels stupidly long, because you are... I am going to get lost. I can guarantee you guys now, I am going to get lost. This place still, to this day, confuses me. So, that's after, like, this is my eighth playthrough of this game. So, and this place still confuses the hell out of me. So, be prepared to get lost. Um, what the hell? What is this place? It's like time itself has stopped. Nothing's moving. It feels kind of lonely, okay? Idiotic little tricks. Let's go. Yeah, so we're now in black and white, and if I'm sneaky enough, I can not sneak past this guy. Damn it, I'm gonna have to backtrack for that one. Uh, yeah, there's a treasure chest back behind that guy, which you can sometimes sneak past them. Like, sometimes they'll have him frozen in such a spot that you can get back there. But I just don't feel like doing it. We'll just have to fight through him. So. Which, yes, we will obviously have to activate this. And cool, we got a tent. I like tents. They might come ha in handy later. The other annoying thing is this is apparently a pain in the ass to get around right now. Oh my gosh. Do not step on that yet, Aaron. You want to get around and get more stuff first. Um, yep, two treasure chests up here. Or back here, anyway. Which are easier to get while time is stopped. And it's a, two dragon scales. Handy. Very, very handy. And enemy in the way. And... There is another one of stupid golems. And there is... 81,000 full. Yeah, I've never understood them giving you full in the final dungeon. Unless, you know, there's post-game stuff. Which, of course, there's post-game stuff here. But it still seems so weird that you suddenly start... You get money in, a, like, a final dungeon. And that where we stepped on here. Time is going to start again. And we'll have to do this for several areas. This isn't the only one. Anyways, we will want to... I'll drop this off over here. We will want to go back. Because we have a treasure chest to go pick up. Come back here. Come back here. Thank you. Yeah, so we're going to do this in several areas, and like I said, don't be surprised if I get really lost, because it's highly likely that I'm going to get lost. And of course, now all this crap has started, and it's even harder to see now. And we're going to fight with the golem, because I kind of figured we would, which is cool. We can back attack him, because he has his back to us. And this is actually, um, according to some DDR noob, like a really good place to go and farm. Battle trophies for. Uh, I did not mean to acrobat. Oh, right there. This is a really good place to actually go farm uh, Edge and Arumats. Kill 10,000 enemies. Battle trophies. So, yeah, it's a good place to go do that. I'll show you the spot I think it is, but I'm not quite sure. 
Okay, am I saying her waiting is going to be worthless because my mom's in the kitchen now, so we're just going to have to continue anyway. And level 72 edge. Ugh. So overleveled. And I have even more of a reason to keep him in. Now, shall I try this again? Let's go get this treasure chest. Holy crap. Oh my god. And of course it's an item I'm full on. Uh, we can use at least one, I guess. Which is enough to open up the spot, but... Yes, Miracle's MP is a little low. I'm very well aware of this. I'm going to hopefully... Fill it... Oh, oh god. Get away from me. Okay, that should be all treasure chests on this map. That we can... That I've passed by anyway. Yeah, I should be able to fill it up whenever Edge stops being stupid. Which, you know, takes a lot of work for him to not be stupid. But... Yeah, hopefully I can get this uh, sorted out and yeah, get our MP back up. Shouldn't be too bad, really. Anyways, right around here I think is, um, yeah, right around there is pretty much where you can farm, or somewhere around here is where you can farm uh, those battle trophies I told you about. I don't really know because I haven't done it myself, but um, yeah. I know some DDR noob is the one who did it, so... Yeah. And... Come on, Edge. You know you want a symbolic whip at me! My MP is getting low. Come on. Usually, I've had points where he's decided, Oh, I'm just gonna cast even if, like, you're missing, like, 20 MP. Now he's not casting it. He doesn't, like, cast sometimes if I'm missing, like, all of my MP, which is, like, really frustrating. Let's see if he casts it. Are you gonna cast an edge? Hi, edge. No! You need to symbolic weapon me. Edge! Come on, edge. Thank you! Okay, let's see if I can get. Okay, I got 300 MP out of that. That's good enough for now. Let's all recover some, and we'll get 73,000 experience! And that freeze nearby enemies will blindsiding. Yes! Thank you. Amazing awesomeness. This is probably the best I've ever done at Nox, and it's still sucking. Oh, hey, look. This is a cool little thing. You can kind of see Earth from here. That's kind of like a nice little detail. And yes, it's another new weapon for Sarah. Yeah, that's kind of a cool little detail they did here. I mean, so you can see uh, Earth from here. So anyways, let's go uh, equip this thing on Sarah. And it is a nice intelligence boost. Awesome. That's gonna help her. Anyways. Oh god, that's right. Uh, we want... Right. Maps aren't very much use. Here. New enemy! With... These are dark bishops. Um, we saw their cousins over on... Lemurus. And I'm, everyone's getting uh, poisoned because of those stupid chaotic... No, not chaotic leaders. Is it the chaotic leaders? Yeah, I think it is, actually. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they're poisoning everyone. Let's see here. Oh, God. Come on, Sarah. You are relying on Edge to cure your sh crap. Oh, God. The AI in this game pisses me off sometimes. It really does. So annoying. Anyways, now we got him out of the way. Now oh, there's another one over there. Crap. Have I mentioned that? Uh, yeah, we have to figure out where... You go over there. I need to get the church chest. Which should be through this door. And should be... Around you, around you, and right here. With scrambling in it. Meh. Useful for the little vending machine number two, which I did make. And I guess this way for now. Oh, shut up with your intruder detected. This way it should be, I think, right over here. Yeah, I've gone through this area, please. Too many times. Oh, cool! I got Mithril. 
and level 77 Miracle, and Sarah, and the level up, and level 58 Armat, who learned Explosion. And I think with that, I am going to swap out Armet and pull in Raimi so that she can catch up a few levels since Edge is staying in my party for now because of symbol weapon. And actually, let's turn off Explosion while I'm thinking about it. I think it's useful for him if you're wanting to grind his 10,000 kills. Bullcrap. And just like Ray, um, Aurora Rings is useful for Edge for grinding his 10,000 kills and there's enemy right there. Crap, where am I going? Not that way, oh my god. Shit. Awesome, so, uh, I see an enemy coming for me, but apparently Sarah got paralyzed. Yay, paralyzed. Oh god. Um. I need to get back around there somehow. I think it's over here, but I might be wrong. I am wrong. Crap. Um, yeah, back this way, I guess. Oh my god! Enemies are everywhere! Okay, good. It's in an ambush. Um, there's no ch... Uh, this way again, I guess. And back this way. It should be, anyway. And over this way, then. It's the only other way to go. Awesome. Um, enemy! 